Are you thinking of using the Kylie Jenner skincare line? Well, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm reviewing her walnut scrub. Yes, that one, the controversial walnut scrub. And you guys probably know, I do not bullshit around. I tell it like it is. Whether it's a yay or a nay, I will tell you the truth. So check it out. Welcome to my channel. It's Kimberly and today's video is going to be fabulous. So sit tight. I hope you are enjoying this gorgeous Friday or if you're watching this on Saturday or Sunday, I hope your day is going fabulous too. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Kylie Jenner Walnut Scrub. Yes, that one, the controversial one that, you know, was controversial even before it was released. <laughs> but I'll get into that in a minute. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kimberly, Kim for short. I do videos on beauty, fashion, and a little bit of fitness. I'll give you a few seconds to hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and hit it right now. Go ahead, hit it. <laughs> and also hit that bell next to it so you get notified each time I post a new video. I post new videos every Friday. I put on these cute little nails and they are horrible. I'm not gonna name no brands. These constantly keep falling. I go through my hair and once in my hair, I look on the floor and I see them on the floor. I'm like, what's going on? My nails are not greasy or anything. I just don't get it. I don't get it. But that's besides the point. Okay, let me not bore you guys with all that stuff, my issues. <laughs> Number one, do I like the Kardashians? I don't really, I'm like not here, not there. I'm just, yeah, I have nothing against them. Um, I think it's phenomenal how they, you know, parlay their businesses and, you know, do their thing. So I can't say anything bad about it. They're just doing their thing, you know? People who focus too much on, you know, the negative, I think those people should kind of find their own life and kind of find a hobby or something to do. I have to say it's fabulous how she went from makeup to skincare. Now, I don't know whether she is a skincare expert necessarily, but uh, a lot of people put out products that aren't experts. Besides, I'm sure she collaborated with a lot of people who are experts in the field. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna judge her on that or any of that. You know, I'm not judging the person, I'm judging the product. So, and I think that's where a lot of people kind of get it twisted. Um, but yeah. Some of you say that the walnut scrub makes your skin bleed because it's so harsh. The reason why this scrub was so controversial is because uh, it's a walnut scrub and they compared it to St. Ives walnut scrub, uh, you know, which I have used in the past. So I didn't know really that a walnut scrub was necessarily bad for your skin. I wasn't aware of that until this whole controversy happened. So uh, basically the reason why they say walnut scrubs are not that great is because the little shell pieces, particles that are in there are kind of sharp and they can cut your skin, I guess, or create like micro tears in your skin. And over time, I guess that's not a good thing. Another thing that happened was that people were questioning whether her products were vegan, as she stated on her website. And I don't think, I think they are smart enough to know that people are gonna analyze her products to death to find something that's wrong with them. So I think they covered all bases, but don't quote me on that. I'm just telling you guys what's going on with her products right now. So I ordered the Kylie Skin uh, Walnut Scrub. It came in a pretty pink box like this, which when I saw the box, I was like, ooh, pink. So as you can see, I got the pink feathers and stuff, you know, because that was a major plus. And the box says KylieSkin.com on the side. And you know, the girl at the mailbox, she was like, ooh, what's this, you know? So pink is always good. So thumbs up there. 
I really honestly thought that she was going to get so slammed with orders that my box probably wasn't going to get to me like in two or three weeks. You know how these things are. They get like gazillions of orders and you're waiting for yours to come and it never comes. And yeah. But the next day I already got a thing, an email saying, oh, your box has shipped and it's on its way. And I think I had this like within three days. So thumbs up again. See when you open it. It says Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner, really cute. And she even has pink bubble wrap. Pink is always good, Kylie. Yay. It's very girly. And this is the packaging for the Walnut Face Scrub. Now, I am not gonna lie. I promise, I'm telling you guys the truth. I do think... I mean, it looks very pretty. First impression, it's very pretty. But then when I turned it around and I saw the white writing on it, it is so small. It's kind of hard to read. Now, me, I can still read it, but I can see how someone else might not be able to because it's the packaging is very light and the writing on the back is very light. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But yeah, so that was kind of eh, eh, maybe something to maybe change, maybe make the packaging a little darker so you can read the white writing or make the white writing black. But overall, so yeah, so that was eh, but that's all good. So now I'm going to open it up. This is the first time I'm opening it, guys. I haven't tried this product at all. So this is what it looks like. It is a three ounce tube. And the same thing with this also, it has the white writing on it. Little hard to read, but uh, yeah, I, it wouldn't, if it's a good product, it wouldn't stop me from buying it. But uh, yeah, I can see how other people would think, hey, you know, would complain about that. Oh guys, look, look at that. Okay, let me just look for my nail real quick. Let me just put on a different nail, hold on. Okay, I'm just sticking on another nail. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna get my money back for these nails. Is it like totally ghetto that I'm like sticking on my nails? <laughs> Normally I do the ones you stick on with the glue, but oh well. Yay! Okay, let me make sure. Okay, so on we go with the review. That was just, okay. Uh, for the record, I am not wearing anything on my skin. I'm not sure if you guys can see my freckles, but yeah. Um, that's how you can always tell whether I'm wearing something on my skin or not, like foundation. Um, if you can see my freckles, you know I'm not wearing anything. So I am wearing a little bit of lip gloss, which is already fading because I'm talking so much. And I'm wearing mascara and a little eyeliner that I still had on from earlier today. So. I keep it real, guys. If I was wearing a ton of makeup, I would tell you too. I have no problems with that. Anyway, so this is it. I'm going to open the tube. It's still closed, as you guys can see. I'm going to remove the foil with my impossible nails. Okay. It's brown in color, I think. Let me see. Oops. Okay, I'm going to put some on my hand first, just so we can see the consistency. There it is. And I'm just going to rub it in. Okay, it feels kind of soft there. Hmm. Mm, it doesn't really smell weird. Or any... Very light, light scent, nothing perfumey or anything. I am going to apply some to my cheek. And um, if my cheek starts bleeding, I am giving this product a zero. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna take a pea sized amount and apply it just to my cheek, just so we can see. Here we go. Ooh, it's kind of it feels kind of cold which is nice 
Let me just apply a little more here. It feels um, the level of harshness. It really depends on how hard you rub, of course, but I'd say I'd give it a five. Between a four and a five out of ten. And I'm scrubbing really softly right now, guys. Normally I would be like, <laughs> just apply it in the shower and stuff. But I'm just, but I changed my mind. Uh, I think it's more like a five to six on the roughness of the scrub. And that doesn't mean that it's a bad rough roughness. It's just that you can really feel it scrubbing your skin. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but my skin is turning red from the scrubbing action. I hope it's the scrubbing action and not an allergic reaction. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see, so. Because I'm in my studio, I don't have water here, so I just have a wet towel and I'm just gonna remove the scrub from my face. Now you're supposed to wash your skin. It removes real easy. Almost super easy. As you can see, the redness is going down. So it's not an allergic reaction or anything. My skin feels clean. Um, yeah. My final review about the scrub. Um, if you have really, really, really sensitive skin, I don't know if this is gonna be the scrub for you, but always do a patch test on the inside of your arm see if your skin can take it you don't just want to put anything on your skin that's a big no kylie jenner said she uses this scrub uh two to three times a week for me that would be too much i would say i would use this maybe once every 10 days because it's a little harsh scrubbing wise the way i normally scrub my skin when i like you know i don't think i could do that with this one because it's really kind of grainy Will I use this again? Absolutely. Absolutely, I will use it again. Uh, for the price, I think you get a decent amount. This will last me like quite a while. You know, once every 10 days, I'll have this for a while. So it's a good value for your money. I do think it left my skin nice and clean. And you know, I can just moisturize and go about my day. Uh, yeah, that's my review so far. So yeah, Kylie. I think it's a good one. I could be sitting here making up all kinds of lies and things just to get you, you guys' attention, but um, that's just not me, you know. Um, I just keep it real, and that's all I have to say about this product. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Come back on Friday because I will be here again next Friday. I look forward to seeing you.